Hi everyone! We're continuing with the renovation of this old dollhouse. We have been working on the living room and recently we just finished applying the wallpaper and a filling medallion as well as the crown molding. Today we are going to be applying the window frames that came off um, as well as the window panes. Before I do that, I am quickly going to add a coat of Mod Podge on the wallpaper to protect it because I want to be able to let my granddaughter play with it and be able to wipe it without having any concern. All I'm going to need is this sponge applier and the Mod Podge. These are the window frames that I'll be working on. They came off when I was painting the interior of them and they were not very well glued onto the house and I was upset but then it turned out to be a good thing because I was able to paint this part, the interior of the frame, which is very difficult to paint when they are, they are already installed on the house. So I have my two frames and these were actually the window panes that came with the house but the house is very very old and this is what sunlight has done to the window pane it now has turned yellow and I have decided to replace them where can I find window panes? well you can find them just about in many places food containers this uh, is the lid of a container where my um, croissants came in. This one came in a package. I don't even remember a package of one. This is very thin. This is a little bit thicker. I have to figure out which one I'll be using. And this came in a folder. It was a div uh, divider and this is a little bit thicker. I'll just give them a, a quick wipe down to figure out which ones will be the ones that I use. I don't know if I can show this, but this piece of clear plastic actually has a little bit of crinkle in some kind of design of, on the surface. So I think this is not going to be good for these windows. I will save it though because this might be good if I want to do, use them for a bathroom window. This one right here has a date stamp so that part I will not be able to use. And although it's flat and if it gives me enough for the two windows this is a good candidate. And then this one which is the thinnest one uh, I like it because it's very clean but I think that it would also perhaps be weak and I want it to be able to stay as a window pane for many years to come. I'm going to make a template just by outlining the window pane that I already have. I'm done cutting it. Let me see if it will fit my frame. Perfect. I just don't want it to stick out in any of the sides. So I kind of made a template right here. I'm going to try to make a leaded window. I'm not going to do stained window because I just don't see stained glass in my room of inspiration which is the sitting room from the TV series 
Downtown Abbey. But I am going to um, try to make a leaded window without any colors. On another room later, maybe I will put some color in the glass, but this one is just going to be lead lines. Permanent marker. Then I'll wipe my ruler while I go here. And I'm going to actually use the ruler instead of making that many lines, just this line. And I'll go over the lines with the silver permanent marker. And so it should look like it's the lead. And the permanent markers, I find that once you make your lines, they really stick. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this is the side on which I already went over with the silver marker. And this is the side where you see the black. And the black is it's pretty sharp. So I'll go over even on the other side with the silver marker. Perfect. My window pane is dry, so now time to glue it onto the frame. I'm using Carpenter's wood glue. My window frame is dry now, so now it's time to glue it onto the wall. The window is now installed. The most difficult part was to just hold it in place until it dried. And I'll have to do, repeat exactly the same steps for the window, the long one right next to it. I don't know if you can appreciate the effect, but I'm gonna try and see if the sunlight allows me to show you what effect you get when you mix the black and the silver Sharpie. It really looks like it's a leaded window. Both windows are finished and now in place. I'm happy with the results. They didn't cost anything at all. By using recycled materials and the markers that I already have at home, then I was able to create, recreate the window panes that have been damaged by the light over so many years that this house had in a garage. Next, we will be working on the door. And this is what the windows look like from the exterior of the house. Stay with us as we continue with the renovation of this vintage old dollhouse. Thank you for watching.